when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know. I'm still Angie. This is still 4F Beauty and you are most welcome. Right, you will have seen from today's thumbnail title and if you've read any of it in the description it's a mini haul aka pain somnia purchase because yeah so if you want to find out what's in here you got the best seat in the house darling Sam is here to confirm. It's time to grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and get comfy. So I'm about to dive into this. Right, okie dokie. Uh, let's start with the, well let's start with the reason why I've got so much stuff built up. Um, I've been struggling recently with really extreme pain with my cellulitis and I just physically haven't been able to sit here and film. Um, it's, it's difficult enough to film as it is with the pain from my arthritis in my spine and my hips and my fibromyalgia but then when you stick cellulitis on top of that it's just it's too much you know uh, but unfortunately that meant that I was waking up at, or being woken up by pain numerous times during the night and we all know what happens when I get woken up at stupid o'clock in the morning and have spare pennies in my bank account I go wandering see what deals I can find so, first thing I grabbed was this, because um, I've been using native deodorants because since I've had fibro I just cannot use ordinary deodorants, even aluminium free ones. There's something in them, I don't know if it's the bicarbonate of soda or what it is, but something. If I use an ordinary deodorant that you can buy in the supermarket or you know, the Holland and Barrett or wherever, Literally, if I use it three days in a row, my underarms blister and get like a stress eczema. It's horrible. So I've been using the native for sensitive skin. But obviously, A, I'm very aware of the fact carbon footprint, getting it sent across from America, not ideal. But also B, since for some reason since we left Brexit, we're now getting charged more for the stuff coming in from America as well. I don't get it. I don't understand. So I thought I'd give this a go. This is from a, a UK uh, company and you buy the metal case and then the inserts you buy separately and they're in cardboard and the once you've used all the deodorant the insert can be composted or go into the recycling so that's great. I've got lemon meringue scented one, which is lovely. Um, and they do say, this is from a company called Wild if you're wondering, they do say there is a getting used to it period where you may find that it doesn't keep you as dry as your current deodorant does. But I thought, well, that's okay. I'm not really seeing anybody much at the moment when this first arrived. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll give it a go, see what it's like. Um, unfortunately, this flares my underarms up. So this one will get passed across to the husband to finish off and I'm going to have to continue with Native and look for something based in the UK that's as good as Native and doesn't flare up on me, which is a shame because that would have been ideal. But there we go. 
Next item I got is from Good Molecules. This is the Uber Mate Wake Up Eye Gel, formulated to help revitalise and energise the eye area. I've seen lots of good things about this. Uh, Yerba mate is a native plant in the Atlantic rainforest of Brazil, it's naturally rich in antioxidants and polyphenols, which helps slow down the oxidation process, resulting in radiant, energised skin. Good molecules sources Yerba mate from Brazilian programs that are committed to zero deforestation, traceability, pesticide free farming, and respecting harvest seasons. Yerba mate is a natural and renewable resource that allows farmers to give back to rural communities. Hashtag your gain isn't their loss. Um, and the, the print around the bottom, it says about our print, Rafa de Hota, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is a Brazilian artist living in Sao Paulo, Brazil. His paintings, collages and prints are inspired by his daily life. The artwork created for Good Molecules reflects the Brazilian vibe and energy of the region where Yerba Mate is grown. And you apply this morning and evening, small amount under the eyes on the orbital bone and massage outwards. Gently pat in excess until gel cream is fully absorbed, can be used underneath makeup for direct eye contact. So I should be giving that a go. Adding that to my makeup routine in the morning. See whether it'll help minimise these dark circles of mine. Right, I picked this up from Beauty Bay. It was on offer. Was it Beauty Bay or did I get this one? I think I might have got this one actually from Depop. Um, but it's the Ofra Samantha March Lip Duo with Story, a mocha nude mauve. Uh, classic nude with a hint of depth, warmth and cool tones that outlasts the rest. And then a pearl iridescent shimmer that won't dry you out. So I've got those two. Liquid, I do like Ofra's liquid lippies. So I've got those. This one I think I grabbed from Beauty Bay. This is their Flexi Stick. Which is... Uh, it's like a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't set down, apparently. Um, what does it say here? All new, this hybrid lippy is a f in a flexible colour that goes on smooth like a gloss with the pigment of a liquid lipstick. And I got it in shade Slip. Which is... Uh, Movie nude, which is the kind of colours that I go for. So I thought I'd give that a go, see what that's like. Um, I bought myself a new MAC Velvet Teddy because I finally finished up my one. Yes, I finished a lipstick. It's a shame though because that Velvet Teddy was in um, like a, a Velvet Teddy coloured. It was a special edition, rather than being in the black, so I could always spot whichever one was my velvet teddy lipstick. Um, I picked up from Depop the Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette, because I've heard a lot of people say it's a really good companion to the Midi Love Palette, which obviously I've got. Um, and also, like I said, when we stay overnight at mother-in-law's, it's nice to have smaller palettes like this that I can just put into my overnight bag. Um, and it's just a really nice, simple £5 palette, so I shall be trying that out soon, I hope. Um, bizarrely, I used to buy a lot of stuff from BH Cosmetics from their German site. But since Brexit, it's more expensive to buy it from Germany than it is to buy it from America. Work that out. Um, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Beauty Bay are stocking these because they haven't even got the January one yet, let alone my one. And this is the Emerald for May palette. 
they never stopped the, the Zodiac one from May either because I missed out on that but this I think is really nice it's a nice small palette it does have a pressed glitter but we'll say you make them green with envy emerald it says under the mirror but again this is a nice it's a small palette we all know that I love my greens so it's a nice small palette again for overnights at the mother-in-laws or if we ever go away somewhere Colourpop did a free shipping to the UK no minimum order so I finally bought The Mandalorian I had held off and held off and held off but I finally caved because again we know what I'm like for greens this one up here which is like a super shock shadow was a little bit scruffy on arrival but because it's a super shock you just push it back in and it, it sort of resets itself so I'm looking forward to playing with the greens in that I know a lot of these are not new palettes but they're new to me so I picked up from Depop the Raw Beauty Christie Colourpop at Forest Sight because obviously I've got rid of all of my Jeffree Star palettes and when I depotted them to use them as singles unfortunately the Beauty Killer and the Androgyny palettes were so old that um, I depotted them okay without any problems but then when I next went to the palette that I'd got them in they'd all just fallen out of the pans so they were obviously too dry and this actually reminds me a little bit of that palette because it's got the mauve colours, it's got the, the gold, it's got the greens and the blue um, and this sort of burgundy shade so I thought give that one a go, see what it's like finally this is the one I'm most excited about, well I say most excited it's my second favourite out of everything that I've bought this is the Butte Bean Shroud, it's freaking a Bats palette Unfortunately, when it arrived, both Apparition and Zero, the post office, I think, had used it as a football. Um, but I managed to repress them both okay. So I cannot wait to play with this palette. It's been so difficult not to play with that palette. Um, I picked this up. This is a, a You Can Be palette. Look at that cover. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. This is the Bubble Nebula Changeable palette and it's basically the Huda Beauty uh, Mercury Retrograde palette which I did pick up from a seller on Depop but when it arrived it was a fake. Something you have to be very careful of and then the seller had just completely disappeared so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some of the money back from um, PayPal but I do have the colour scheme there that's the fake one I've actually got a pile of fake palettes over here um, I've got Juvia's Saharan I've got Prism from Anastasia and I've got the box of crayons palette at some point I was going to do a film about fake palettes but obviously I haven't got round to it yet. Uh, I picked up another blending brush from the Beauty Bay. This is Round of the Blend. I think it's the Beauty Bay own brand. Um, thought I'd get that to try, see what that's like. And then oh, these next two palettes. I have wanted these for so long, so, so long, but when I had the money to buy them, they were out of stock, and when they were in stock, I didn't have the money to buy them, and then someone was selling them on Depop, so I messaged her, and I'm like, look, I really want them both, but I can't afford them both at this moment, can I buy one of them, and then when I get paid in a fortnight, get the other one? 
and bless her heart she said yes so give me glow vintage rose palette long term viewers will know that I've wanted this for so long look how beautiful that is isn't that stunning but this next palette this is the one which is joint favourite with my It's Freaking Bats palette. Mm, I got the Christmas morning palette. This palette I have wanted from the first time I ever saw it. Look at that, isn't that just... <laughs> so out of all of the palettes that I have got here Christmas morning Vintage Rose Bubble Nebula It's Freaking Bats At Forest Sight The Mandalorian Emerald and the Mini Natasha's Nona which ones do you want to see me use first? Uh, if you can just let me know in the comments box below which of these palettes you would be most interested in seeing that will help me plan out which order to film with them in because obviously I can't I'm not like most YouTubers, I can't sit here for 8 hours and do a load of bulk filming because my pain levels just won't let me. Um, so out of all of those, which ones do you want to see me use first so that I can then prioritise those palettes and get uh, films up with those quicker than the others? Right. That's my mini haul. I hope you enjoyed it. A bit of a shorter fur film from me today. Some of you will be quite pleased that it's a shorter film. Others are disappointed. I get told off sometimes. It's like, I like your 40 minute films. I time my shower in the morning by your films. Sorry. You might have had to have a quick shower this morning. Right. If you're one of my regular viewers, please double check you are still subscribed. YouTube are still unsubscribing you, but they are leaving my films in your feed. So it's not obvious what's happened. Uh, it's also worth when you do that double checking what your notification status is, because mine keep getting knocked back to um, personalised instead of all, which means I don't get anything. Anything at all. Really frustrating. Um, that's true not just for me but for all channels that you follow. So before you click play on a film, just double check just quickly that your subscribe button is still grey and then double check what your notification status is as well. If however you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of blethering from me. Um, this is me. I, I blether on about all kinds of things. Sometimes important, sometimes not so important. Uh, yeah. So if you feel like you can watch some more of this and deal with this face and this, what I'm told is a very soothing voice and a phone that will occasionally interrupt me when I least want it to. It's super easy. You hit that red subscribe button then you ring my bell, ring my bell, and choose all notifications in the hope that YouTube will actually send you some. Right, as well as this rather large backside that I'm currently perched upon, I have a rather large back catalogue of films that you can watch. I've got other Painsomnia purchases. <clears throat> I've got tutorials, I've got product reviews, 
challenges, tag films, collapse. I even read you my favourite poem in one of my films. So you should be able to find something that will interest you somewhere. So, basically, if you're looking for a bit of me time, I've said it for ages, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, pick a playlist, settle back with your coffee and your custard cream or whatever your choice of nibble may be, and just shut the world out for a while and just, just watch me put coloured pigments on and blether away at you. Alright my lovelies, that's enough for one day. I'm pretty sure you've heard enough of me and my back's telling me I need to, I need to go and sit on a more supportive seat than one I'm on right now. So, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Don't forget to let me know which palette you want to see me use.